This is an example of a site's grain. Speeding up? Select the file tabs above or the icons Slow. below Down. to learn more about what they are. Or changing direction. The background file explains the problem you've been asked to investigate. Air resistance is the force the of air against The question file contains questions object. you can investigate. By streamlining you can the shape one of an question, object, or air all resistance of them. is reduced. The resources file shows you where to look for information. An object of any shape will balance on its The data file gravity. helps you investigate a this question by suggesting ways to collect data. around its center of gravity. We can see this the by the reports file helps you summarize center. your findings when now, you're through when investigating. The object is thrown, it acts as if it's this mass is the consultant's is icon. Gravity and travels the consultants in a smooth will help curve. focus on the important parts of the problem at the site. Centripetal force is the force that keeps this an object is the moving in a circular icon. path. In the ergorama are extra An activities that to enhance your understanding of forces and motion around a point called the center of curvature. This is the research icon. In the research activity, you can gather information to help you a answer questions. A moving car has kinetic energy. As it coasts this to a stop, reference icon. this energy is Here converted you can find to heat online and sound resources energy. to assist your investigation. The car's kinetic energy is not lost, but has just this changed is the to different forms. Movie icon. This is Background what is meant by give conservation of energy. situation at the site. Brian puts this in 500 joules of energy by and selecting does 500 a joules of work. More about the site. Karen puts in 1,000 joules of this energy into this machine. This is Ergomotion's main menu icon. In lifting the block from the main she menu, does 500 you can joules get training of work. or go to the, the site to begin your investigation. Efficient. Here you can find copyright information when the about ball the bounces. A nearly elastic collision occurs. From a list of helps, a little you can of select the ball's kinetic that will energy you is the material. Heat. When this ball bounces, here you will find most out of who its developed energy the program. is converted to heat. This collision is This allows inelastic. you to leave the program. Energy is the ability to do this work takes you to or the video make something PDF. happen. Here you can look up words and ideas that are unfamiliar. This takes you to the main menu screen. From the main menu, you can get training or go to the site to begin your investigation. A force this is a turns push the narration or a pull. on and off. Some a forces and shows contact, that narration is while on. others do not. With this tool, you can play, change, rearrange, the and add caption cards has to your media energy. clip. When the metal is pressed against it, this the turns the grabber on down. and off. This is due to check mark shows that the grabber the is on. energy is converted the to grabber heat, allows you to light, create your own media sound. clip from stills or video segments. Selecting an icon and then choosing open is the same as double clicking on an icon. This background Jennifer file is experiencing is a written a downward summary of the background movie because she is you may find it upward. convenient to refer to during Notice your investigation. Her change in weight. Using these additional questions you will be able to focus your investigation on the question you have chosen. Now she's experiencing an upward to discover which resources she is will help in your investigation. Select the question you weight. want to investigate. Gravity Go to these is the resources force of attraction listed on the screen for these help in answering the question the you have chosen. The force between Earth and the larger Select ball the question you is would twice like to as great as the force between Here Earth you will find and out the smaller where you object. can record the data you will collect because it during takes your twice as much force to accelerate the larger object. To help object, you with your investigation of this question, at the same put rate. the data you have collected in the data section a car of your has a lot of activity book. It takes a lot of force to speed it up. Here are some suggestions going, for your final report. It takes report. little force to keep it moving. The media clip can Just be done on to a computer. Overcome friction. The other reports can but be done on your own. it takes a lot of force to slow it down. The amount of kinetic energy an object has depends on its mass and motion. This ship has a lot of kinetic energy because of its large mass. The high kinetic energy of the bullet is due to its high speed. To find the mass of an object, compare it to a known mass. However, would they balance the same on the moon? The momentum of a hammer depends on its mass and velocity. The bigger hammer has more momentum. Newton's third law states, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This battery has potential energy. It has the ability to do work.
the energy added to the spring of this toy is stored as potential energy until it is let out. Brian is lifting the block much faster than Karen. Because Brian is more powerful, he works faster. But they are both doing the same amount of work. Power is the rate at which work is done. Projectile motion is the motion of a sideways moving object under the influence of gravity. Its horizontal speed is not affected by gravity. Velocity is a constant speed in a particular direction. These planes are moving at the same speed, but in different directions. Therefore, their velocities are different. This astronaut weighs 180 pounds on the Earth, but only 30 pounds on the Moon. The force of gravity between the astronaut and the Earth is greater than between the astronaut and the Moon. Karen is using a block and tackle, a simple machine to lift a heavy object. Brian is doing the same amount of useful work without a machine. The more force you apply to an object, the faster it accelerates. The car accelerates to You're 5 miles per hour in 16 seconds. You can seconds. go to the section you want by clicking on a book. Welcome to Ergo Motion. Energy and change. As more force is applied, select the, the car accelerates to, to 5 to miles per hour in 12 seconds. Or select the site to begin your investigation. Good luck. The background if file an object has less mass, you've been it is easier to, to accelerate. With a smaller mass, it reaches 5 miles this per file hour contains faster. Questions you can investigate. Well, I'll you go pick one we'll question go go. or all okay, of them. Okay, we all agreed to do this, right? right? Right. Let's go. The resource file shows you where to look for information. The data file helps you investigate a question by suggesting ways to collect data. The reports file helps you summarize your findings when you are through investigating. This is the background movie icon. Have you ever background thought about what it takes to make a roller coaster great, where site. all this energy and excitement comes from? Maybe you'd like this to change this coaster. Icon. Make higher hills and tighter curves. Help focus on Could you make it more exciting? At each side. Well, here's your chance to find out. This is the research icon. The research activity will help you gather information that will help you answer the question. This is a hotspot monitor. By selecting a hotspot, you can learn more about the site. This is the Ergorama icon. In the Ergorama are extra activities to enhance your understanding of forces and motion. This is the references icon. Here you can find online resources to assist your investigation. Welcome to the coaster site. This is the main activity screen. From here, you will be able to go to all locations to conduct your research into the nature of roller coasters. To help you get organized, we have provided files at the top of the screen. Use the resources on the screen to assist you in your investigation. Have fun. Select a question you would like yeah, to research. Yeah, that was crazy. My stomach was up to here the whole time. Oh, I've been on scary rides than this. Have you These focus the one questions will Park? help you now in your investigation. A of a hey, let's write it again. Yeah, when thinking this about these questions and all the variables, think about the things that remain constant, like the what height makes of a ride like the roller coaster, coaster fun? Speed? Think about going Potential 65 miles per hour in a car. Are related like After a while, it gets pretty coin. boring. Completely different, it's actually sudden changes in speed that excite the senses and make the ride fun. What you believe Sudden to be accelerations true may not imitate be. gravity Examine and make you feel heavier or lighter. Check the data. You might when be surprised. You speed up in an automobile, you feel pushed back it helps to your understand seat. the and precise when you slow down, meaning you of the term acceleration. Or you feel pushed to the You'll side probably of your discover it means more than These you thought. These forces, which mimic gravity, are called G-forces. These resources will help you with your research. When you ride a roller coaster, Go to the sometimes coaster you experimentation experience G-forces. Play around with when the, the energy force loading section out the and discover what happens. Entirely, then you'll you begin to understand the question. This is called zero-g. 
Go to the These hill and valley section of the coaster G experimentation site. Accelerating downward Learn how to collect equal data to the from the site. Gravity. This will help Negative in the research. Negative G occurs when an object accelerates downward at a rate in greater the than the acceleration look of gravity. Up G forces. This happens this is on the roller coaster clue to when the car the goes over the hilltop too fast and everyone is lifted out of their seats. Acceleration is a change in velocity. In our coaster How does design, velocity we try to avoid in the horizontal G's curve. Because we don't want to throw people out of their seats. You can study this at the coaster experimentation site. In designing coasters, Use the coaster certain limits must be placed on G-force and acceleration. Record the data in your ergo motion too activity book. Too rapid an acceleration book. can result in too great a force. For example, what kind of data should if you collect? this egg accelerates or changes the time speed it takes a little to too get fast to the top, when it hits the ground, how much well, energy is used, you know what happens. and the effect of changing the mass of the car on the ride. Your body is used to 1G, the force in of gravity. In collecting data, if you experience a downward G-force in force of 1 and in addition to your energy, weight, you and where acceleration is the greatest. If people experience too many Gs, Collecting they data faint. for this question too many Gs will can help be a you with basic misconceptions about the laws of motion. Because of this, we limit the G-force on coasters Collect data for this question at the coaster experimentation site. Notice when changes well, in acceleration occur. But I know a lot about speed and acceleration. Your ergo motion activity book has more information on preparing your report. Check with your teacher about the different types of group reports you can do. Check with your teacher about the different types speed of reports you can do. Speed is the which I move. Acceleration happens when In I change my speed motion activity and direction. Book, you'll find a variety of report formats you can do right here in Ergo Motion or with your class. These will give you an opportunity to show yourself this and the others what you've learned. It's the same force I feel when I slow down or go around a curve. Select a consultant That's to help the you with your investigation. That's the force I feel when I'm accelerating. We call it Select the Select an area of interest for more information. Traveling at a constant speed is not that exciting. It's the force that's exhilarating. Acceleration happens when you slow down, speed up, or change direction. Now, I've noticed this about speeding up. Two things affect it, the size of the engine and the weight of the bike. The bigger the engine, the faster I speed up. The heavier the bike, the slower I speed up. The key I've discovered is this, a small bike with a big engine. As a police officer, I always deal with force, acceleration, and velocity. I often see the effects of a car accelerating a little too fast. When a car suddenly changes its velocity, the forces involved can be tremendous. Obviously, there's a difference between a car applying its brakes and a car crashing into a wall. The car putting on its brakes applies less force over a much longer distance. The car that hits the wall stops all at once. No one ever got hurt by going too fast. It's the stopping that gets you. If you're ever unlucky enough to be in an automobile accident, two things may keep you from getting hurt. One is a well-designed car that will absorb its own kinetic energy and convert it into heat by crumpling the car. Another is a seatbelt that prevents you from being stopped all at once by the windshield. Remember, it's not how fast you're going, it's how suddenly you stop. Energy is an important concept in physics. We like to say energy is the ability to do work. In fact, energy and work are measured in the same units. Energy takes many forms. Most common machines take one form of energy and turn it into another. This electric drill turns electrical energy into mechanical energy. These batteries turn one form of electrical energy into another form of energy, light. But the process of conversion isn't perfect because a small amount of the energy in both the light bulb and the drill is converted to heat. Heat is the end result of many energy conversions. When a car puts on its brakes, the energy of the car's motion, called kinetic energy, is converted to heat. 
all that energy of motion is suddenly changed to heat, so the brakes get very hot. This heat is then transferred to the air and the surrounding environment. Heat is often an unwanted byproduct of energy conversion. Heat is created by the conversion of chemical energy, gasoline, into mechanical energy, causing the car to move. The car's Select cooling the question system helps would like get to rid investigate. of the excess heat. Then keep that question in your mind as you explore ergo motion. Different types of energy By answering are these questions, in units. you will understand the nature of roller coasters. Sound is measured in decibels. Are you up to the coaster challenge? The chemical energy of food Here's your chance calories. to test your ability at designing roller coasters. Are you ready? The unit of measurement Get going. Of electricity is kilowatt hours, and mechanical energy is measured in newton meters or joules. Back in the early 1600s. Galileo did this simple experiment. He discovered that objects of different mass fall toward Earth at the same rate. Of course, things like a feather and a lead weight would fall at different rates because of their resistance on the feather. But in a vacuum chamber or in outer space, they'd fall at the same rate. Galileo also did this experiment. Can you predict which ball will reach the bottom first? Now it's your turn to be the coaster engineer. Modify the coaster's design and see how it affects acceleration, potential and kinetic energy, g-force and speed. Modify the coaster car by changing its mass and power. You can modify the coaster by selecting different hill heights. Modify the coaster by changing the radius of the curve. If we double the size of the motor, how does that affect the coaster car's potential energy at the top of the incline? If the first hill is 80 feet high, what's the maximum height the other hills can be and still allow the coaster to complete its run? What factors determine the bank of the curve? Coaster challenge number one. Design the coaster so the car has zero velocity at the top of hill three. You have three minutes to meet this challenge. Good job. You could stop that coaster on a dime. Too bad, you've run out of time. You can try again or move on to another challenge. Coaster challenge number two. Design the coaster so the car comes to rest in the second valley. You have three minutes to meet this challenge. Very good. You're learning quick. Too bad. You've run out of time. How Try is it again. that roller coasters can generate so much coaster force challenge and so much three. fun? Design That's the job of roller so the coaster engineers. In the first valley. They need to have an understanding have of the force and challenge. energy a coaster can Good generate luck. and design a coaster that is both thrilling and safe. You they need to know the, the limits of acceleration and g-forces. Comprehend the balance of potential nice and try. kinetic energy. We run out of time. Know the effects of this friction one is not easy. and understand how the radius of a curve can affect acceleration. But most important, or they need to, to know challenge. what it takes to make the coaster fun. Too bad. And generally, again. they do a pretty good job. Nice try. This Think of the roller easy. coaster as an energy transformation system. Through the course of the ride, you will discover that energy can take several different forms. Energy is first introduced into the system as electricity to operate the motor. The motor operates a chain drive that pulls the car to the top of the slope. As it goes, the car is loaded with gravitational potential energy. The higher the coaster car, the greater the potential energy it has. So the energy in the coaster has been transformed from electrical to mechanical, to potential energy. Well, if we double the size of the motor, we'll double the charge on the potential energy. It's like a battery. In physics, it's known as the conservation of energy. It might have an impact, but I don't think it would affect potential energy. Whenever we double the size of motors on things, it always affects the power. So it's got to double the coaster car's potential energy. Oh, well, that's simple. None whatsoever. As you can see, everyone's got a different answer. But which one is correct? 
This is for you to find out. Here we see the roller coaster car at the top of the energy loading incline, about to make its thrilling descent. At this point, the car contains the maximum amount of potential energy. As it drops, that stored energy is transformed into kinetic energy, the energy of motion. A small amount of energy is lost due to friction, and this energy becomes heat and sound. As the coaster climbs the next slope, it begins the process again of storing potential energy, only to have it changed once more to kinetic energy. Well, let's see. If your first hill is 80 feet, well, it, it really depends on how far down the course you are, because you can't put any high hills at the end of the ride. 100 feet easy, but it could probably go higher if it weren't for friction and gravity. 60 feet, then after that 45 feet, then 37 and a half feet, it's the law of diminishing returns. You can get up high, not as high as 80 feet, but maybe as high as 79 feet. There really is only one reasonable answer. Do you know which one it is? As the coaster enters the horizontal curve, we see something different. The car accelerates horizontally. This is the effect of the tracks pulling the car toward the center of the curve. This is centripetal acceleration. Factors that determine the bank? Speed is one, and tightness of the curve is the other, I think. It's the speed of the car. If it were really moving down that track, we wouldn't want it flying off. That's why they banked the car. As the car goes through the curve, it speeds up, and this is called banking speed. The track is banked according to the car's banking speed. Who is right and who is wrong? Your task is to find out. Good morning and welcome to Science Talk. I'm your host, Skip Lindquist, and today's science topic is the roller coaster. Our originally scheduled guests from MIT and the Carnegie Institute were unable to make it. Luckily, we found suitable replacements at the last minute. So, would you welcome the hour, science Dr. Julia Watt, the director and brain behind that West Coast In this radio talk show, you'll meet two experts who will be responding to questions and misconceptions about the physics topic of the day. Roller coasters. And now we'll take Your our first challenge call from is to choose which Jarzana. expert has the right Hello. answer. You're on the air. You score points Hi, by setting your confidence level. Your That's how right you think you are well, for each question. Out, You'll begin with 20 points. Um, for each question, a, a if you think you know the answer, I select your confidence level out. between 1 and um, 10. If you choose the, the correct expert, you'll get We're the number the of coaster, points you selected. If not, you will lose that number of points. If, in the course of the show, it's obvious the coaster car is going points, the fastest the when it's show going down end. the highest hill. Or wouldn't you concur, Dr. Watt? Not at all, Dr. Erb. The coaster is going the fastest at the How bottom of the How do you feel hill, about your selection? The correct answer. Select the level of confidence Select between the 1 expert and 10 with the correct answer. Nope, too bad. Dr. Dr. Watt, Watt had, had the, the correct, correct answer. answer. At the bottom of the first hill, the coaster car is traveling the fastest because there it has dropped the farthest and has the greatest amount of kinetic energy. Our next call is from Beverly Hills. Hi, let's talk. My friends and I in our physics club listen to your show every day. We think it's great. Anyway, we were out back playing with my brand new Accelotron Atom Smasher. You have an Atom Smasher? Well, actually, it's used. But the kids down the street have a new one. But what we want to know is, under what conditions can a coaster car accelerate and have no change in speed? Uh, Dr. Erg, I know of no such place on the coaster where the car could accelerate and not change speed. It doesn't run contrary to the basic meaning of the word accelerate. Bravo! A wonderfully deceptive question. Acceleration happens when you speed up, slow down, or change directions. So, if you are traveling in the horizontal curve and the car changes direction, that is acceleration without a change in speed. It's not quite awake, eh, Dr. Erg? I've never such nonsense in all my life. Well, maybe if you opened up a physics book. Select the expert with the correct answer. That's Whoops. it. Dr. This time, Dr. Warner's last time. Acceleration is speeding up, slowing down, or changing direction. Our next caller is a freshman from Ridgemont High. Hi, you're on Science Talk. Hi yourself. I've got a good one for your expert. I'm a five-time science fair winner, and this stumped me. I'm curious about what keeps the coaster going. Do the hills need to get smaller as the ride progresses? I think we can safely say yes. That is a truth about roller coasters. They simply lose energy in a progressive manner because of friction. <laughs> I'm surprised that fooled you, young man, knowing your credentials. Wouldn't you agree, Doctor? Madam, even if you stuck bamboo shoots under my fingernails, I wouldn't agree. Friction law is so minor, you can have the second highest hill at the end of the coaster, and it will still work. Where did you get your degree? In a convenience store? Select the expert with the correct answer. 
could interrupt next time Dr. Urge if everyone's right. The hills of the coast can be any height, as long as they're not higher than the first hill. And, of course, there isn't an unusual amount of friction. Okay, our next caller from Anaheim. Hey, you're on Science Talk. I had an argument last night with my boyfriend. Hey, that's too bad. It's just a silly question, but maybe you can answer it. Wouldn't changing the mass of the coaster car affect its acceleration? Of course, the change in the mass of the car would affect acceleration. How much depends upon the change in the mass. Now that you've answered that, you two can live happily ever after. Yeah, did you learn your physics when a comic book? Galileo will be turning in his grave. Changing the mass has no effect on the coaster car's acceleration. Select the expert with the correct answer. Way to go. That's not it. Dr. Wong was right this time. It was Galileo's experiments with gravity that show us that the mass of the object, in this case coaster car, has no effect on its acceleration. Our next caller is from the Santa Monica Freeway. Let's talk. Hi, Skip. Yeah, here I am, up on the freeway. So I followed that all morning to talk. I actually own a couple of roller coasters, and I still can't get a straight answer from my people on this question. What I want to know is, if we made the first hill twice as high, what would we have to do to the motor to get the coaster car to the top? Well, you simply have to make the motor twice as powerful. Don't be ridiculous, Julia. You wouldn't have to change the motor at all. Listen to you. The higher the hill, the greater the potential energy, the more power the car needs to get up the hill. Well, unlike you, I can't put all my physics knowledge on the head of a pin. Are you calling me a pinhead? Select the expert with the correct answer. Think again. Great, Dr. Dr. Erdogan is right. If we made the first hill twice as high, it would simply take longer to get to the top. We wouldn't have to double the size of the motor. Well, we're almost out of time. Let's take one last call. A surfer from Santa Monica Beach. Okay, you're on Science Talk. Like, wow, hi, Skip. I really dug your show on waves, man. Like, what I want to know is, where in the coaster is gravity the greatest? At the top of the hill. The bottom. No, the top. The bottom. The top, most certainly. The bottom. The top, you ninny. You mesomorph. Bots and burner. Beaker head. Select the expert with the correct answer. Close, but not close enough. That's it. Dr. Dr. Watt, Watt was right. right. The force of gravity is greatest the closer you are to the surface of the Earth. Although the difference between the top and the bottom of the coaster is almost immeasurable, there is a difference. Well, that wraps up another edition of Science Talk, and we'd like to thank our stand-in experts. Some expert you are. Well, at least I don't pretend to have a degree in physics. I don't have a degree in physics. I've just been teaching it for years. Pray tell, where did you get your degree in physics? Well, I don't have one either, but I played Albert Einstein in community theater. I played Albert Einstein, too. E equals MC squared? It's all relative. <laughs> Thank you, and tune in tomorrow for another chance to quiz the experts on Science Talk.